Hello, pretty internet people. Uh, it's not broken, is it? Oh, cool. I had this. It's a Runcam, uh, what's it called? Runcam Thumb Pro. It's the 4K tiny camera. I think it's like 16 or 19 grams or something. It's very light and uh, with 4K. And it is, if you walk around with it, it's perfect. But if you don't have a like a absolutely perfectly tuned drone it uh, it picks up the vibrations and you get yellow and you can't see anything and uh, so i've been struggling with that and trying to to like tune drones to the max but i haven't really gotten it to work um uh, so uh, what i did back in the days when i had this when i had this session five um i uh, mounted it on that like, really springy um the stripes so it bounced around a whole lot but you didn't get any vibrations through so you could actually that worked um so i sort of did that with this one but with foam like very spongy foam and i put um i've made this because i have one of these tiny drones um so it's basically just foam and a stripe through one way and another one the other way and i just stick this one in here like that and if i only do that then it like bounces like crazy of course so you can't really see anything uh there's no vibrations but you still can doesn't work but if you use this one and you just uh attach it somewhere so it's like I strapped it under the battery, but I built this one. Then it is, you know, it points the right direction because of this, and it still has the vibration dampening that is like a lot, and but it doesn't bounce around that much, um, and you it's it's stuck there. Like you can do some sort of heavy freestyling, <laughs> it still works because it's attached to the foam um it's almost stupidly simple but it works and you can just move it around too because i just made this one uh, so it matches the colors because that's important and you can also like uh, pick it up a bit or pull it down to uh to uh get the angle just right and <clears throat> yeah maybe um so pretty cool i show you a clip right now <laughs> there you go also uh while firing up premiere pro i have this bonus tip that i just it's also stupid simple you know you had this like not in the twist it here and it gets stuck under the camera and you can't get the, the hatch to open and also you like the props hit this and it's just a mess mm. just go to your like closest hardware store and buy a screw like an m5 m5 screw and use that and i have like a prop nut there uh and you're like, oh my god, and I have to have some sort of tool to be able to, to screw that in. But do you? Or do you already have one for the props? Huh? How smart is that? See, so just tighten your camera. See, no air resistance or whatever, or props hitting the nut. Huh? Pretty smart. Okay, uh, now the clip. Okay, bye.